Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome to my first pre-race ride of the year. So we're out here this morning enjoying this beautiful weather as I hope all of you guys have been as well uh, for a bit of a pre-race ride, a couple of openers. First road race of the year on the, yeah, the first week in June. How about that? But yeah, we're heading down to the Shrewsbury area tomorrow to do the Holohan road race, which is about 93k. There's still some restrictions uh, going on with British racing, so yeah, quite a short race. And uh, I've actually been joined. You will recognise this guy because he's been on the videos before. How are we doing? What are you doing here? Been joined by my brother over in the UK here now, so he's staying with me for a few weeks here in the UK. He did his first race over in Doncaster last week. How did that go for you, Leo? Yeah, not too bad. Travel still in the legs, but it's good to uh, test the legs against the UK guys. Do the same this weekend. Well, Leon's raced already with a few local events over on the Isle of Man, so should be one to watch for tomorrow. So I'll be marking him out. But uh, yeah, as well as Leon, I'll be joined by, I think, five of my Semper and teammates down in Shrewsbury as well tomorrow. So it'll be good to catch up with those guys, see how they're getting on. I know a few of those guys have raced already as well. So yeah, see how we go and uh, looking forward to it. This is, I think, my first pre-race ride and race, in fact, since October last year when I won the Manx National Championships back on the Isle of Man. I think the last time I raced in the UK could even be 2019 because the first two races that I did in 2020 were in uh, Belgium and France. So yeah, it's probably almost two years since I've raced in the UK, which seems like a lifetime ago now. But yeah, really looking forward to getting back into some UK racing. So I've got a little bit of a calendar put together this month. A few road races, a few crits here in the UK, building up to the first National Circuit Series round up in Otley at the end of June, um, and then hopefully into some UCR races over in Europe come July. So hopefully by the time I get to those races a little bit later in the season, I'll have some good race legs going, and uh, yeah, we'll get some good results on the board as well. But. Uh, yeah, all leading up really to the Tour of Britain at the end of the year in September. Starting down in Cornwall, as I've mentioned on the videos before. So I'll be working hard in the build up to that and uh, yeah, hopefully doing lots of racing throughout the season as well, which you can follow right here on the videos. And if you haven't already subscribed and you don't want to miss that, then you can do that now. If I pop a little icon down in that corner, you can click on that and subscribe to the channel. As well as that, some of you guys may have already spotted that I'm also featuring in the uh, new video series brought to you by the Tour of Britain, uh, the road to the Tour of Britain, and that's featuring on YouTube and obviously all their social media pages as well. And I'll drop the link to that below in the description so you can see how myself and uh, the other riders from the UK teams are preparing for the race in September. Obviously, we'll all be preparing in different ways, but yeah, it's a really good initiative and uh, nice little video series to to cover some behind the scenes action uh in the lead up to the race anyway we're about 20 minutes into the ride now and uh yeah about time i got some of those pre-race efforts done so we're going to kick things off with a bit of a 10 minute effort zone three just to get the heart rate up and the legs going and then a little bit later in the ride we're going to do a few short sharper efforts in preparation for the race tomorrow so uh yeah i'm gonna get on with it So that's the first few efforts out of the way. As you can see, got a, bit, a little bit of a sweat on now. 10 minutes zone three, pretty steady enough. And then into some short minute efforts and some sprints as well. So that's my standard pre-race ride. I'll usually do around an hour and a half, two hours, 
10 minute effort, steady enough just to get the legs going. Sometimes a five minute effort as well, a little bit higher intensity if I'm not feeling great. And then just the short, sharp ones to just get that bit of a snap in the legs for uh, any accelerations you might have to be doing in the race. So yeah, efforts are out of the way. As far as training goes, been going pretty well for me recently. Mixing in some big long rides in this beautiful weather we've been having with uh, some intense sessions to yeah, get me ready for these races that are coming up. But also I've been taking some inspiration with the Tour Brit in mind and riding some of the previous editions routes around here in Cheshire. Obviously you may have seen in some previous videos riding through Tatton Park up in the Peak District and some of the, uh, some of the roads that we used in I think the 2016 edition and uh, yeah some, some pretty brutal roads but great for training, great for motivation and we also got the chance to uh, ride up in the Lake District last week as well um, which has obviously been featured in the Tour of Britain as well before. Um, we rode over the struggle and did a bit of a loop around there and it's also rumoured to be starting up there somewhere in Cumbria um, so yeah maybe we even rode on some of the roads that will be featured in, in this year's race but but yeah as a whole all been going well and uh, yeah it can't be doing me any harm riding these Tour of Britain routes around here because they're certainly pretty brutal but equally as beautiful so yeah I've been really enjoying that as part of my training so coming towards the end of our pre-race ride here today I'm 45 in the legs already about 10-15 minutes home now once we get there, probably have some lunch, uh, wash the bikes, and yeah, generally just get prepared for the race tomorrow. But for now, I'm just gonna get back, get sorted, and uh, I'll catch up with you again ahead of the race tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. We're in the next day now, and uh, just heading down to the race. We're on the road already, on an infamous section of the M6, 50 mile hour zone, as always. Um, but yeah, about an hour and a half drive down to Shrewsbury, or just outside Shrewsbury this morning. Just had some pasta on the way. Uh, it's about two hours to, till the race start now. Hopefully we'll get there at around 12 o'clock and then meet up with the team, go through the plan for the race. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to getting racing today. Unfortunately, we've had a bit of rain overnight and it's still raining a little bit here now, but hopefully by the time we get down there, it won't be too bad. It's not cold, still around 17, 18 degrees. So yeah, we'll, we'll get stuck in. So I've just got to race now, went and signed on, got my numbers, still limited to 60 man fields at the moment in uh, British cycling races. So quite a small field today. Yeah, just had a quick chat with the boys and gone through the, the race plan. So uh, time to get these numbers pinned onto my kit and get going. So ready to go for the race now. Just had a quick chat with the lads and Liam discussing the race plan for today. So yeah, hopefully we can uh, pull out a good result and uh, have some fun out there. So I'll catch you after the race. Three hours later. So there we go. First race of the year done. Didn't go too badly, I suppose. Um, a bit of a strange race, to be honest, because uh, the circuit was grippy, but it wasn't hard enough probably to, to split the, the field. So it was like, a lot of attacking, small moves going and coming back and had to be the right selection and whether people actually committed to the moves as well. Yeah, everyone was still pretty fresh even after three or four laps. Uh, it was hard to make a good selection, but we had riders in pretty much every move of the day. But good to open up the legs actually. Um, in the end, Steve got away in a little group uh, towards the end, about probably a lap and a half to go, but there was one other guy off the front solo so i think steve rolled third in the end and then uh, it was a bit of a messy bunch sprint for the rest which i tried to get involved with i think i was second or third in the bunch sprint uh, along with brother leon who rolled me in the end but uh, yeah it was good good to get the first race out of the way anyway and yeah enjoyed it good to, to good to get back into the peloton and you know get the get the feel for the race days again and 
hopefully many more to come in the in the next few weeks so this is my first race of the month uh hopefully i've got another one next weekend and then going to start doing a couple of midweek races as well hopefully and i'm going to work them into my training ride into those races racing and then riding back hopefully if they're close enough to uh to home but yeah all in all pretty decent day to to get legs open up the sun came out in the end as well and uh yeah good to get going for the season yeah good start to the season for me personally and for the team we've already got a few wins under the belt as well so yeah gonna keep rolling on and hopefully picking up more good results as we go throughout the year but for now i'm gonna get this sweaty kit off as leon is doing right next to me and uh yeah get sorted and then have a bit of a debrief with the boys have a recovery shake and head home oh. there we go so all packed up now had a quick debrief there before we left Obviously there's a few things that could have gone better today, we could have won the race firstly. Um, it was good to have Steve up there on the podium but obviously we're going to these races to win um, and we didn't do that today so yeah just getting back into the swing of it, uh, kind of analysing how things went. Obviously we're all a little bit rusty after not racing for a little while but yeah it was a good day out, lessons learned and uh, yeah looking forward to the next race really. So, and also a big thank you to, to the organisers for, for putting the event on because there's not been too many in uh, UK of late so yeah good to get a number back on the back and yeah get racing again get it back in the peloton it just feels good to have that buzz catching up with people that you've uh, not seen for almost over a year in, in some cases so yeah sorry I didn't get much race footage there wasn't anyone there to record there was no feed zone as there was no feed in the race today either so yeah I'll have pretty limited footage of the uh, of the race but I hope you enjoyed the build-up uh, pre-race and obviously a little bit after the race as well. So that's pretty much it for this week's video. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, as we get into the season, obviously there'll be more race videos as well. So if you want to see more of them, and you don't want to miss the next one, then please do subscribe to the channel because it not only helps the channel grow, but um, it supports me and my racing as well. So yeah, thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you next week. Cheers.